First, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I need You now, here today. Help me to preach Your Word to this crowd. Not my words, but Yours. May they be clear in Jesus' name. Amen. The title of my message this morning is, Should We Sing Songs of Praise to God? So why are we talking about songs this morning since most of the crowd uh, is deaf? But God says that uh, music is important in the world. Many of the world love that. Many Christians love music as well. I grew up with my deaf friends and deaf family. They all loved music, uh, the feel of it. Most, most deaf don't uh, necessarily enjoy the music, but I, I enjoy it. I have uh, three sisters and brothers. I have three sisters, and oh, my, brother, uh, my brother loves music. Uh, puts on the car, and uh, the whole car is shaking with, uh, with the music. So we, we understand that every person is different. Uh, God... Um, includes uh, some of that in everyone. But first, The opening says, don't, keep, don't be drunk on wine, because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is an interesting verse here. It says, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, and making music to the Lord in your hearts. That's interesting. Music to the Lord in your heart. I want to continue here. saw in other Bibles um, some words that uh, were interpreted, some interpreted as with, and some was in. But it started, so I want to show some uh, differences here from uh, all of these words that were used. So this uh, example that uses from your heart, so from inside your heart um, to the Lord. It's an interesting concept here. So 
So from the King James, it says, making a melody in your heart to the Lord. The ASV says it this way, to make music with your heart. We have in your heart, from your heart, and this one says with your heart. Well, these differences were uh, intriguing to me. Um, so what do we have going on here? Now we continue here to make music with your heart. Then, in accordance with my personality, I did some research and decided maybe it's more about uh, the heart. Maybe it's more about making music with your heart. <clears throat> so from Ephesians, oh, Colossians, Colossians chapter 3, it says this, Let the word of Christ dwell richly in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Here this word is again, singing with grace in your heart. So there's grace, it's about being, maybe it's about being thankful, with a thankful heart. Grace now is clear, it's thankfulness, it's a similar meaning here. So Psalms and spiritual songs with thankfulness. We have the same meaning here, we, but they use a different word of gratitude, but the idea is that of thankfulness. It's all about what the heart looks like. So we, the heart should be thankful. In James, we see a similar idea here. Any of you are suffering uh, hardships, so you're struggling through those, maybe uh, you should pray. Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. Again, the idea of music and songs as a form of prayer, or as a form of praise. Now I want to share a psalm here, a spiritual song. The point of these songs is to make music. So the people of Israel um, tended to celebrate with songs and beg God for help. Israel sinned and they, um, they always ended up uh, failing over or lamenting over their failures. So my question, was this God's plan
So what is God's plan behind uh, salvation for Israel? So these are all uh, a number of questions here. Or was the frustration of the Lord uh, for salvation? So what can our possible responses be um, to that frustration? Well, we can praise or take that situation and give praise in that. The psalm itself has 150 um, chapters in psalms. And they're all written down to, uh, to show us that we can and should read them and it can help us. Even though as, uh, as deaf we may not be uh, experts in music, we can sh it can show us how uh, to praise him. So here we have So we have a number of hymns that uh, talk about the different attributes of God. So what is God's personality? What is his uh, attributes? Should we Give the Lord praise and honor and thanksgiving. In our personal um, reflection about uh, him as a creator and his purposes and about Jesus, his son, our savior. So these songs, oh, I'm sorry, personal reflections about his love and uh, his mercy. So now we have uh, three different uh, spiritual songs that we're going to look at. So the things that come from the truth that are revealed to us. So the idea of salvation is inspiring for, uh, for many songs. So we have the blood of Jesus uh, that he saves. We have grace as a gift from, from Christ. And his mercy, uh, even though we're sinners and deserve punishment, we get mercy from Christ. He has saved us through his mercy. So the Ten Commandments, uh, we have um, the first few or two love the Lord with all our heart. And with all our soul, with all our might, and with all our, with all our mind, and with all our strength. So what's the general goal here to uh, when we sing praises to God, it is to express our our praise to Him that we that we love Him. It's also to show our thankfulness to Him. Inside of our deepness of our heart, it reveals the 
those things in our soul that we love and adore the Lord. The deep inward part of our being, it invites us to share our joy, our desires, our wants, express our fears and our thankfulness. And of course our love and worship for Him. Because why do we do this? Because God uh, deserves our worship. Let's take a look at uh, the people of the Old Testament. Um, that they they had different uh, songs that uh, they would sing to God. So Moses' song here uh, for Israel's salvation from Egypt across the Red Sea. Remember the water that... Uh, <clears throat> so they saw the power of the Lord here uh, as the Red Sea uh, was separated and they sung praises to God uh, because they overcame... Uh, he has hurled both horse and rider into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has, he goes on, he has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. So there we see the power of the Lord, the power of prayer and of song. It's inspiring. So who is uh, Miriam? It is uh, Aaron's sister. She took uh, a tambourine and she led group of women and they, they played their tambourines and danced. And Miriam sang this song, <clears throat> sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. He has hurled both horse and rider into the sea. Now we look at the New Testament. We saw people who sang, who danced, and and made uh, different kinds of music. When Mary was pregnant with Jesus and she went to meet her cousin, Oh, my soul praises the Lord, how my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Mary's song <clears throat> inspired...
So then we see this uh, other person named Zechariah. This was John the Baptist's father. Remember that the angel came to him and made it so that he could not speak until his baby had been born. His wife had said that his name is John. They said, no, you don't have any relatives named John, but it was at that time that Zechariah said, yes, his name is John. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has visited and redeemed his people. So now we want to look at the uh, angel's song. Where do we see that? Shepherds were there, and they were uh, perplexed as to this uh, number of angels that had come and sang and made an announcement saying, the armies of heaven praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Shepherds, shepherds looked up at the angels uh, with surprise at their, at their song. Does anyone remember this, um, the Simeon? <coughs> uh... When it was time for Jesus to be circumcised, they went into the temple, and Simeon was there in the temple, and God had promised him that he would not die until he saw and laid eyes on Jesus. On, and so he, he came to the temple quite often, and his song says, Sovereign Lord, now I can die in peace. Let your servant die in peace, as you have promised. I have seen your salvation. That would be Jesus, which you have prepared for all people. He is a light to reveal God to the nations. And He is the glory of your people Israel. So Simeon was inspired to make this proclamation in this song. We see Paul being persecuted and beaten for Christ. He was uh, a learned man and <clears throat> one day he had his vision and then he became a Christian. And Paul and Silas were traveling together and they were in prison. And you think of prison as a place of suffering, not a beautiful place. But Paul and Silas were in prison at midnight. They were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening. And so they sang and prayed, sang praises to God, and <coughs> so did Jesus and his disciples sing? Yes, yes, they did.
You only find two places in the scriptures, and they're pretty short, where Jesus and his disciples sang. <coughs> After the Lord's Supper, and before um, his death, and when they were eating um, the Passover. He sang a hymn on the Mount of Olives before, the, before they had prayed. Or They sang the hymn, and then they went out to the Mount of Olives. So that was an important part of Jesus' life. He sang as well. These two passages are the only two that we see of Jesus uh, singing with his disciples. So you can pick a few uh, verses from the Psalms. <coughs> and we can see how the psalmist sang uh, their songs. Remember Mark teaching about making noise and um, as a joyful noise with clapping. Love this psalm here. I will make, I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. And I will praise my God to my last breath. Till I die, I will continue to do that. In another psalm it says, Come, let us sing to the Lord, let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Jesus is the rock of our salvation, so we should shout with joy to Him. <clears throat> let us come to Him with thanksgiving. Let us sing psalms of praise to Him. When can we worship the Lord? Where can we worship Him? Right now in church with everybody here, or we can by ourselves. We can meet with Jesus and worship Him. The best time is to just meet with Jesus and express yourself to Him. church sometimes you feel like everyone's watching but when you're alone you can praise him and give your heart to him and you can be real and that's important to do so should we what kind of what kind of song should we sing it doesn't matter as long as it's to the Lord any of these will work. We have songs of praise, thong, songs of thankfulness, exaltations of songs to Him, and songs of His glory. As long as we take what's in our heart and sing to Him, every day we can make a new song to Him.
Before I close, I would like to do one song from my heart. So this is not my own, my own song, but um, it's borrowed. Let's close with prayer. Father in heaven, lead us in this beautiful song in our hearts. We want to worship and honor you. We need help. Uh, the deaf here, we need help in learning a song, but we ask you to put it in our hearts. Thank you for four different songs this morning. We want to lift your name high. Amen. Thank you.